The Japan Society exhibit is billed as Bye Bye Kitty, between heaven and hell in contemporary Japanese art. The curators say the show challenges Japan's love affair with cuteness. The first image in the exhibit, called Ash Colored Mountains, sets a serious tone. The work by Makoto Aida is reminiscent of a Chinese landscape and depicts the conformist Japanese salaryman or white collar worker. Gallery director Joe Earle says some visitors see a parallel between this image and the piles of debris left by the tsunami. This exhibition represents a more mature view, if you like, of a more, a more mature world view, and one which um, can take account of catastrophes like earthquakes and uh, problems at nuclear plants and tsunami. Earl says neither the exhibit nor the artists anticipated the disasters. But Ken Bernard, a visitor to the show, says the art could be viewed differently because of recent events in Japan. The things which just normally you do not see, except in artwork, we're now seeing in real life. It sort of reminds you that some of the more fantastical things in art are outdone by nature. Bernard points to Vortex by Tomoko Shioyasu. The artist sought to represent nature, particularly over time, in such things as rocks, trees, water channels, and in cells. But Vortex bears an uncanny resemblance to the whirlpool created by the recent tsunami. Joe Earl says much of the exhibit displays a sense of fragility and looming disaster. This is clear in Manabu Ikeda's History of Rise and Fall. Up at the top left-hand corner, we have the contrails left by attacking jets or missiles from North Korea, an incident that actually happened during the long period that uh, Ikeda was producing this painting, which he finished in 2006. The prospect of nuclear obliteration is coupled with images of mass executions, a demon lurking beneath roof tiles, people on a tightrope over a precipice, and a waterfall representing waste passed from one generation to another. Earl says the artist may be uncomfortable with an interpretation that includes radiation now escaping from Japan's nuclear plants because the painting predates the disaster. But this visitor from San Francisco makes the connection anyway. That uh, decay of humanity and decay of, um, of, of our environment, that, that may be one that I um, more resonated with in terms of, um, you know, having, having a, you know, feeling like you've kind of captured life and ha that it really does decay under you and that what, what you attach to may be very ephemeral. As a New York Times reviewer put it, the anxiety depicted in the current exhibit stands out more in light of Japan's real-life disaster. Peter Fedinsky, VOA News, New York.